Hi, welcome everyone. This is your host, John, the social media cryptocurrency educator. Today, I'm going to show you how to download SafePal and add it as an extension to your computer. You can you can install it. The official site is safepal.com. S A F E P A L dot com. And basically, once you go there, you can install it for your use. I like to use the browser, so I installed it to my Google Chrome. You can install it to Firefox or Edge. And on once you've done, you'll click download. And once you click download, it will. And if you click add extension, it'll show up at the top right of your screen. If you, most of you all need to pin the Safe Power icon, which is I'm clicking it right here, just at the top right. But in order to pin it, so it can always be there. Just click the little puzzle piece or find it, and then just click on the pin icon so you can always have it there. That's very important if you want to continue to get access to that. Of course. I went through get started and all that type of stuff. Um, also, I backed up my my twelve uh, phrases. Please keep in mind, I strongly suggest that you back your stuff offline. Write it down, put it in the safe, put it somewhere where you can never lose it. It's very important. You don't want nobody to get access to your twelve C words because they can get into your account. Believe me, in the past, I I tried to do stuff and I backed it up through email and stuff, and I got possibility. Many have got hacked from doing that, so it's best to keep stuff like this offline. The, the safer you are, the safer your wallets will be. So that's just a side tip. Of course, I backed it up and I and I I had to click each word, each twelve phrases, based in the order that I received it, which was from one to twelve, and I clicked on each one. Um, so I and I actually unlocked my wallet and stuff like that. So right now I'm gonna enter my password that I created. Of course, you will enter the password you created for your wallet. You will click on lock. Once you go through all these steps. And once you go through all the steps, you should see this. Congratulations, your wallet has, wallet has been created. I'm going to hit next. I'm going to hit guided and all that stuff. Okay, the next thing what you need to do, if you want to actually purchase cryptocurrency, so you add and deposit, just click on whatever cr cryptocurrency you prefer to deposit just click on it um, for instance I'm gonna click on Bitcoin you see right here you could do buy and sell so it actually show your receiving address and stuff like this so all you do is click buy all right we're gonna choose the minimum amount of course I don't believe it's $300 I'm gonna try 30 okay the minimum buy is $50 so you have to buy 50 or more dollars worth of Bitcoin yes you can go through simplex click on continue to simplex if you're new to this you may be asked to verify yourself with KYC which is actually upload documentation to prove that you, that that's really you like an ID driver's license or something like that and um, just go through all that wait for them to confirm all your identity and stuff like that then simplex will give you some type of transaction so they'll send your email you know showing if you're transaction and stuff went through please send the exact amount that they say so your funds um, will be good you know so everything will go smoothly so once you go through all of that that's basically how you buy and of course just going to quick tutorial if you need sending out somewhere of course that's self-explanatory you will hit send if you send it once your funds are in your wallet if you send it out somewhere you'll get the receiving wallet address for example, if you were in a cryptocurrency program or arbitrage trading program, what you would do, you will copy that address, and um, of course you would hit send. You will paste that address from any program you're in or any other wallet you want to do, and you'll go to. Then you put the amount, and then hit continue and etc. And if you want to receive funds to your SafePal wallet, you will hit receive. It's self-explanatory. Then you copy your address. Like I'm doing here or hit copy address and it said copy then I will actually paste that BTC wallet address in the back office of a program or or or, or use it to receive funds from an exchange and etc just showing you quick examples and finally they have a swap feature if you need to swap crypto from one cryptocurrency to another you can use the swap feature and I quite sure got a fee with that I just want to do a quick tutorial video on how to use safe pal if you have any issues and any questions, please contact Safe Power Support, and um, I believe they'll be able to assist you with any issues. I'm gonna just click here at the top.
the menu box see that they have anything else they that may interest you yep see y'all notice i went in sadness and you can contact support right here so just showing you live and that is the help center that's fine i conclude this video thank you for watching i'll see you on my next one